Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to a new video. Today's video is of course going to be my pickups for the month of September 2015, along with uh, birthday stuff. So let's get right into it, shall we? The uh, main thing I got this month, as well as for my birthday, was I got an Xbox One. And as you can see, this is the one terabyte model. And yeah, I finally upgraded to the 8th generation, and I'm very happy. I'm very, very excited that I got this for my birthday. Um, all in all, I'm thoroughly enjoying the console so far, but that's all I'm going to say right now. Um, in the future, I'll be doing another video basically talking about the Xbox One, giving my opinions and my thoughts on it. I just want to use it for a little bit, I just want to use it a little bit longer. So, but yeah, Xbox One. So, that being said, uh, let's get into games. We'll start with the 360 first. Uh, this first game here. I've been trying to find this game for a long time, a very long time, and uh, whenever I'd find it at GameStop, it wouldn't be complete. It would be in their shitty, whack, raggedy game case, and no, that just put me off. And then I'd find it for like 10 to 15 at like buybacks or the exchange, which isn't a bad price, but I'd usually find something else cheaper that I wanted instead, so I never picked it up. But I finally found this at GameStop complete for $5, so I said, fuck yes, I'm getting you now, and I picked up Far Cry Instinct's Predator. Now, what this game is, on the original Xbox, there is a game called Far Cry Instincts, and what that game is, is basically a port of the original Far Cry game from PC. This game is Far Cry Instincts, brought up to HD on 360 with extra content, so glad I finally got it, find it, finally. Uh, next, picked up Bioshock Infinite, the complete edition. I really only got this to play the DLC, uh, especially the area that C episodes. I really wanted to play them, and my 360 does not have internet. I have one of the original 360s. So, moving right along, I picked up Batman Arkham Origins, Batman Arkham Asylum, King of the Year edition. Batman Arkham City, Game of the Year Edition on 360. I had them on PS3, but I traded them in and got them on 360 because I wanted to go through them fresh. I pretty much did everything I wanted to in those games on PS3. I just wanted to play, play through them fresh. So, uh, Last 360 game I got here, I picked up Spec Ops The Line. Uh, this game is a very story-centric third-person shooter, which is good, which I like. I like the story-centric games. Unfortunately, I know what happens because it's been spoiled to death on the internet. But regardless, I'm happy to have had to have it, and I look forward to play it. I look forward to playing it. Now I went to the loan two PS3 games this month. First, um, I had this before, and I decided to pick it up again, and I picked up Mirror's Edge. Uh, when I had it before, I thought it was I thought it was okay. I thought it was decent, and uh, with the announcement of the sequel. Well, prequel or whatever the hell it is that's coming out soon, I decided to pick it up again. So, yeah. And the last PS3 game here is a birthday present from my girlfriend Cindy, and she got me Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden Sigma, PlayStation 3. Um, I had the Ninja Gaiden games on Xbox, but in my opinion, the PlayStation 3 controller is a much more better controller for, for hack and slash games. So I decided to trade the Xbox copies in and get them on PlayStation 3. So, yeah. so far, all I need, I just need uh, Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge, and I'll have them all. But uh, if you're mildly interested in the Ninja Gaiden games, I do say check them out for sure. Especially Yaiba. I know Yaiba got torn to shreds, but Yaiba's pretty damn fun, I have to say. I mean, you're a cyborg ninja killing zombies. Doi. But, uh, moving right along. Now it comes to the rest of the games here are for my shiny new Xbox One. So, first, I picked up Assassin's Creed Unity. Now, anybody who knows me knows that Assassin's Creed and Dead Space are my top two favorite franchises this past generation. So I decided, since I don't have a PS4 yet, and I don't know when I'm getting a PS4, and I really want to keep, keep up with the franchise, with, with this franchise, since I enjoy it so much. I'm going to repurchase the Assassin's Creed games on 360 
That way I can keep up with the franchise, because I don't know when I'll be getting a PS4. So yeah, Unity, uh, I haven't played it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. This is the limited edition that came with uh, the bonus mission, the Chemical Revolution, and what Ubisoft did, which I have to give them credit for this. They, uh, Since this game was buggy as all hell at launch, they made the DLC for this free, which is good. So, yeah. Next, we have Dying Light. Uh, this is an excellent game. Um, I've only died twice so far, ironically at night. But uh, I have to say, Techland, they did, they outdid themselves with this game. This game's a lot of fun. I think we can all agree that this is what they were hoping Dead Island would be. But all in all, great game. Next, we have, or I have, uh, Killer Instinct Combo Breaker Pack. This is basically a retail version of Season 1, which is good because I prefer physical, uh, physical copies. So yeah, uh, I'm not that far into it. I've only played it off and on since I got it. It's something I need to get used to because I've never played Killer Instinct before. And from what I understand, it plays a lot like Street Fighter, which is another fighting series I've never played. So all in all, it's good. I just gotta get used to it. So Next, we have Halo the Master Chief Collection. Now, this came to my Xbox One. Uh, digital copy of it, but my dad knows I prefer physical copies, so he went ahead and ordered this for me. So, uh, it's Halo Master Chief Collection, not going to say much on it, everybody knows what this is. Uh, in case anybody was wondering why this has the MA15 Plus rating and not the uh, ESRB, when my dad ordered this for me, I don't think he really looked at where he, I don't think he looked uh, where he was ordering it from, because he ordered, it, he ordered it off Amazon, and it came from Australia. So it's a good thing the Xbox One is region free, because if not, I wouldn't be able to play this, and I, know, and I know he would be pissed, extremely pissed, that I couldn't play this, but I can play it, which is good. But, all in all, it's Halo, not going to say much. Uh, I am looking forward to Halo 5. Uh, I have to say, Halo 4 story was kind of shit, but the gameplay was sound. So here's hoping Halo 5 has a good story and good gameplay. Next, we have... Metro Redux. This is one of the remasters that was done right for this generation. Uh, it's Metro 2033, Metro Last Light, with uh, higher graphic fidelity. They both look just like on. They both look like they did on PC. Uh, they have uh, new gameplay mechanics, all the DLC. This is a remaster done right, and I recommend playing them. You haven't played them yet. Uh, this is on. Xbox One, it's on PS4, but it's also, these games are also on the last generation, so however way you can, check these games out. They're a lot of fun. Next, we have Rare Replay. Uh, now, when this game was announced, I was very excited because there are some of these games I've never I've never played. Like, I never I never played Battletoads, no, Red by the Ghoulies, Perfect Dark, Conquers. A lot of these games I've never played, so I was excited when this was announced. However, once it came out, it was kind of leaked, revealed, whatever, that the 360 games weren't on the disc. And that put me off of it right away, because I, again, prefer physical media. I want everything on the disc. So, I was at GameStop one day, and I was explaining, yeah, I've got the Xbox One, I'm, trying, you know, I'm looking for you know, games to get, and so I was, I was, I was, I was excited, I, was, I told them that I was excited for this. Then how people were saying that not all the games are on the disc and all that, and then somebody explained to me that no, all the games, all the 360 games are on the disc. They are all all the games are on the disc. It's just when it comes to the 360 games, they're installed separately. They're still on the disc, but they're they're played through the backwards compatibility of the Xbox One. That's how it was explained to me. So, but all in all, we had to pick this up because, like I said, there were some games I haven't played yet, like Conquers. I have an N64, but good God, Conquerors is like so pricey. It's like almost a hundred dollars. So yeah, glad to have gotten this. Next, uh, I picked up Shadow Warrior. This game is a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. If you have an Xbox One or PS4 and you're kind of on the fence about this game, go pick it up. It is amazing. It's so much fun. It really is. So. Next, we have Sunset Overdrive. This is another good uh, exclusive for the Xbox One. I'm in no no means f very far in it, but uh, so far the story is, is good. It's, it's the story is uh, has hooked me. The weapons are cool, very inventive, and it, all in all, it's a good open world game. 
So next, I picked up Thief. Now this game I know a lot of people didn't like, but I had this on 360, and I traded in to get the Xbox One version because I wanted to see how it was on Xbox One. So and finally, the last Xbox One game I got here. I picked up Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Now, the reason why I got this, I have the Game Leader Edition on PS3, and I wanted to go through it fresh. So I figured, eh, screw it, I'll pick it up on Xbox One. So, that is it. That is my pickups for the month of September 2015, along with birthday stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like, please comment, and please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And again, please be on the lookout for new videos coming soon. Thank you, and goodbye.